Good morning. How's everyone doing this Monday morning? I trust and pray that you're doing well. Excited to be with you this morning to bring you the daily devotional. This morning for our daily devotional, we're going to be looking at Acts 15.1. I felt it was really important to start off the week with this um, because it is an amazing message that lasts throughout all of eternity and it is just uh, so hard to grasp that some people just can't seem to uh, take it at face value. Uh, so let's look at Acts 15.1. It says, Certain people came down from Judea to Antioch and were teaching the believers, unless you are circumcised according to the custom taught by Moses, you cannot be saved. Um, this goes on throughout all of human history, ladies and gentlemen. It seems that the message of grace given by God is just too good to be true. Imagine standing in a courtroom and you have all you have a rap sheet a mile long of all kinds of counts against you. There is no chance whatsoever. And a man stands up in the courtroom just about just as you're about to be sentenced and says, Your Honor, I want to take the punishment for what this man has done. And the judge says, but sir, you have never broken a law in your life. Imagine that. And, that, and that's hard for us to understand or hard for us to take. And so what we like to do is we like to think that we have some part in our salvation. If only I would go to church more. If only I would pray more. If only I would work harder. We see it all throughout the world. In all of the world religions, you got to pray five times a day. You have to do this. You have to do that. You have to work your way to God. Ladies and gentlemen, there's one thing you need to understand about God and his grace is that he requires nothing from you but to accept it. Romans 10, 9 and 10 says, If you confess with your mouth that Jesus Christ is Lord and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. It requires zero work and 100% faith. In fact, God even tells us in the scriptures why it requires no work. In Ephesians 2, 8 and 9, he says, For by grace... Are you saved through faith? And it's not of yourselves, it is a gift of God, and it's not by works so that no one can boast about it. Listen, it's nothing you've done. It's everything that Jesus Christ has done. There's nothing that needs to be added to it. Only faith, grace can get you saved, and only grace and faith can keep you saved. Listen, we're going to have this until the end of time. People coming in and going, no, 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 no. I know what the Bible says, but you also have to do this. Here's your equation for today. Are you ready, math teachers? Jesus Christ plus nothing. That is salvation. Rest in that today. It is not what you do. Now, yes, we serve Jesus Christ because of what he's done, but we don't serve Jesus Christ because we're afraid that if we make a mistake, that he's going to condemn us to hell. It is not works of righteousness which we have done, but by his great mercy, he has saved us. Rest in that today. We'll see you tomorrow.